my brain tech here where tech is made simple. So the upcoming end of support for Windows 10 is fast approaching. And because of this, to keep you guys posted, I have been talking about the end of Windows 10 and I have a dedicated playlist on my home page of the channel, which you can go check out. And I'll also leave this playlist in the end screen of this video if you'd like some more info. But according to the latest tech community post, which was uh, dated yesterday on the 14th, yeah, we can see Microsoft says once again that there's a free upgrade to Windows 11 for a limited time only. Now, this blog post is quite interesting because it does give you a bit of information if you are affected by the end of support of Windows 10. And I'll leave it linked down below. Now, according to the post, Microsoft says it's official and I'm quoting. Windows 10 has been retired after October 14th, 2025 and will no longer be supported. So they say, what does this mean? Your computer will still work. However, with security threats on, on the rise, it is imperative you upgrade immediately. The great news is that you still have time to make the jump, according to Microsoft. And then they say, first, let's tackle the elephant in the room, which is you'll need to confirm that your PC meets the minimum system requirements for the update. And this is something we've been talking about on the channel, which I think most Windows 10 PCs do not meet the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. And this one of mine is one of those that doesn't meet the system requirements, which I'm okay for. I've got another Windows 11 device. This Windows 10 device works perfectly for what I need it to. And I think that elephant in the room regarding the system requirements is because most people can't upgrade. So that's causing quite a lot of frustration and headaches and a lot of debate in certain circles. But go check that playlist out. I have spoken about that in depth on the channel. Now, something else uh, Microsoft says from the same post and article, if you can't upgrade, you still can enroll to the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates ESU program, which is a paid program, which will cost you $30 for an extra year. And I've posted a video on that. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, something I want to address for this video, as you must probably have seen from the title, is if we head back to that title, it says free upgrade to Windows 11 for a limited time only. Now, I think this is a little bit cheeky, as I would say, because a couple of years ago, when Microsoft started um, offering Windows 10 upgrades from Windows 7 and 8, they also said it would be free for one year. And when that free for one year, that year passed, um, Windows 10 still remained available for Windows 7 and 8 users for a good couple of years after the so-called free for one year. So Microsoft, um, I think, is being a little bit cheeky, as I would say, and and is trying to create a false sense of urgency, I think, by saying free upgrade to Windows 11 for a limited time only. So um, they're using a bit of assertive marketing here, for want of a better word, to try and get as many people from Windows 10 over to Windows 11. And I've posted that on that quite in depth. So go check that playlist out if you'd like some more info. So what do you think? Do you think it's only going to be a free upgrade um, for a limited time only? Or do you think this is just um, a bit of assertive marketing by Microsoft? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.